Hey y'all, welcome to Woke STEM, a digital space made to intersect social justice and STEM while uniquely centering people of color. I'm happy because I never expected it. First of all, I am so, so happy you made it to this channel today. This low key, like low key, might have been the best choice you made today. Now, you're probably here for a number of different reasons. Perhaps you're wondering about ways that science education could be made more culturally relevant or accessible. Wouldn't it have been dope to learn about active diffusion of molecules from Champagne Poppy himself? I know y'all remember that gift. I know when that eyeline blink. Maybe you wonder why the word scientist doesn't bring up a mental image of a black woman, a black man, or any melanated person for that matter, but you know that we're out here. Or maybe you'd be wondering why there aren't that many skin folk in your STEM major. Like it'd be mad rare to see any black folk in your classes. <laughs> but like, why though? Bruh. Maybe you're one of those extra inquisitive folks that wonder about the influence of zip codes on the quality of STEM education in schools. Or maybe you just think about the invisible labors, the exceptionalisms, the tokenism in STEM spaces, and how that really impacts the retention of a truly equitable and diverse STEM workforce. Now, if you be thinking about these questions and about other ways that social justice and STEM can come together while still censoring black folks, you've come to the right place. First and foremost, Woke STEM is a community. No matter who you are, where you come from, what you ate this morning, you can be a part of it. Unless, of course, you're not for real, for real about the cause. I don't know what you. I don't, you should just, bye, go. Woke STEM was created off of three principles. One, to keep black joy at the forefront. Really important. Two, to amplify resistance in STEM spaces to make sure that everybody's included. Three, to celebrate authenticity and representation in STEM spaces as a form of resistance. This channel is the creative hub of Woke STEM, where we provide you with unique and original content that's straight up built off of these principles. Now it's actually gonna be like very lit, like very, 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 very lit. Are y'all excited yet? Well, let me tell you why you should be. Woke STEM is a really unique space where black students and STEM professionals will have a chance to share their experiences in a way that makes them more human. I mean, isn't that dope? It's a space where they'll be able to talk about their research projects, their career trajectory, the choices that they made in their career. The catch is, they ain't gonna be using all them big words. They're going to have to communicate their science in a way that's clear, concise, and accurate. We don't play when it comes to making STEM accessible now. As a people, we bring multiple backgrounds and intersectional identities to the table, and they deeply influence how we access, participate, or even consume STEM. These conversations need to happen across different disciplines that critically take into account these different identities that we have. We want to hear from non-conventional experts that can bring fresh and innovative perspectives in regards to solving problems regarding diversity in STEM. Our goal is to change the conversation and create new solutions. Now, two years ago, Solange Knowles put out a wonderful album called A Seat at the Table. Don't touch my hair. Which, by the way, if you haven't got into it, like, get your life. She had a song in there called FUBU, which stands for For Us, By Us. Woke STEM exists because there aren't really many authentic spaces for people of color in STEM that are for us or even by us. So let's change that. If you were inspired by anything that was said earlier, you can be a part of the conversations, you can be a part of our community, and you can be a part of the overall litness. If you're just here to get lit, girl, like, yes, you, you, you're in the right place. Woke STEM can't really survive without community support. And that means allies. I know y'all out there. That means y'all too, y'all included. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. So go ahead and share this video on your Facebook, on your IG, on your Twitter. If your group chat's kind of dry and you're trying to get your social capital points up, you can go ahead and drop this video right in there. I bet you will do very, very fine. And that's about it. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe so you can stay tuned to our next video. Bye. I feel happy.
I feel grateful and I feel fulfilled. I'm happy because I never expected it, but God gave it to me. I'm grateful to Him. So how are you going to prepare for the final? What will you do now? The final will be a deadly day. It's going to be either both of us going to die on the line. Because I'm ready to run into the lab because I have a black man blood in me. And African people, we are born great. I'm ready for it.